for me, the definition was one of the most important criteria to choose my scanner. And I was really amazed and surprised when I saw the definition of the Clarius. My name is Dr. Delbo. Uh, I'm a French plastic surgeon based in Paris and Bordeaux, specialized in uh, body contouring uh, procedures. Uh, I'm doing uh, BBLs under uh, ultrasound guidance for uh, two years now. We developed the technique with a friend of mine who is a radiologist, uh, specialized in the musculoskeletal system. And we are doing all our procedures uh, under ultrasound guidance for two years now. For me, it's really amazing because when I was an uh, intern, we had to uh, go to the uh, anesthesiologist department to ask them if we could take the machine <laughs> from their department. And then we have to take the elevator and then we have to go to the plastic surgery department. So doing the ultrasound and then go back again to the anesthesiology department. So to have an uh, ultrasound in your pocket, it's like gold for us because you have all the uh, technology with great quality of images with uh, high definition images in your pocket and it's really light, it's cheap compared to uh, classical machines and the quality is great. You can record the images, send it to your cloud, you can see it again like five years after it's stored in, uh, in a cloud, so for us it's like a revolution. <laughs> What I really like is the easy use of the Clarius. I mean, you just have to press the button and 30 seconds later, you are connected to your iPad, to, to any screen if you want to uh, do it with your mobile. It's really fast, uh, it's really light. Uh, you can take it everywhere you want. You can have it in your pocket. The biggest difference uh, for me is uh, when you have to move around the patient. For example, today we did a BBL and you have to move around the patient when you want to increase the volume of one buttocks and then the other. So when you have connection to another machine, uh, you have to make sure it, everything stays sterile. And sometimes it's hard but because you don't have enough uh, space to move the, the cable and everything. And with the third generation, it's connected in, in Wi-Fi, so you don't need any, any uh, connection. So you can move it as much as you want and you can put it aside and you don't have to think about the sterility, which is one of the major things we think about all the time during our surgery. You want everything to stay sterile, to stay clean. And if you have a connection to another machine, you have to make sure uh, that you are not crossing the cable or uh, putting your foot in the, in the cable. So it's, it's, uh, it's more freedom for us uh, in the uh, OR. This is one of the major settings for plastic surgeon because we have to be really precise when we want to uh, do the fat graft. We have to target specific areas and in the different layers of fat in the buttock, you have slight differences in tone, in density. And if you have a device uh, which is not capable of giving you the right amount of details, uh, the right definition, you can miss some things and you can uh, sometimes be uh, confused between the layers of fat. So for me, the definition was one of the most important uh, criteria to choose my scanner. And I was really amazed and surprised uh, when I saw the definition of the Clarius. I could even do some uh, cross sonography uh, on my wife when she was pregnant. And I could see the vertebra of my son. So it was like, wow, <laughs> we have it at home. It's perfect. <laughs> For us plastic surgeon, we have three main priorities. First, this is the safety. Second, this is the uh, precision, anatomy, and then the follow-up. And with ultrasound guidance, you can do the three with the same machine. When I am at the first consultation with a patient who wants a BBL, I can ask her to lie down and do the first ultrasound exam and then I can show her exactly where are the layers of fat I can inject the fat so that's really important because you educate your patient and then uh, she's going to spread the information in the OR that's the safety you see exactly in which layer you are you can see really easily your cannula and if you don't manage to see the cannula which is almost impossible because it's the only object which is moving inside the butt you can use the shadow below the cannula 
and it's really easy to see the shadow. If you see the shadow above the muscle, you are sure you are above the muscle and there is no risk. And then for the follow-up, uh, we tend to say that we have like 30-40% of loss of fat uh, with the, the fat transfer in the buttock. And with the ultrasound, during the first consultation, you can just take the measures of the amount of fat that you have in the butt and then after the surgery you can do a follow-up and do precise measure uh, it's a precision of one or two millimeters so for us it's perfect so you can write it in the file medical file and you can do the follow-up for, for one year and to make sure that everything stays and with a targeted fat grafting you know, it's much easier to uh, make the fat stay for a long term in the buttock because you you know exactly where are the the spots in the in the butt uh, where the fat will stay longer so it's easier for you for us and uh, it's better for the patient for the long term results if you would have asked me one year ago i would have said no because uh, there was just a few informations on the internet uh, on the social net media into bbls i mean patients they were not aware of the fact that you could die from a bbl and now with the social network with the uh, uh the instagram with the, the the media many patients they know that bbl could be a dangerous procedure so i have more and more patients coming to my office, they tell me I would never have done a BBL because for me it's a dangerous procedure and I know about the risk and I've seen some tabloids and I've seen some, uh, uh, some papers in the media uh, which are talking about the dangerous procedure that uh, BBL represents. And now that I know that we have ultrasound, it's really easier for me to come and see you and ask for a BBL. And yeah, this last year, uh, I think I had like five or uh, seven patients uh, who came only because they knew I was using ultrasound for the practice. It's great because many patients uh, are informed now compared to, to five years before and they know that with ultrasound it's much safer. The first time I turned it on, my scanner, uh, I was surprised to see plastic surgery because in the classical devices I used like 10 years ago, uh, there is nothing like that. You have just two or three probes that you can choose and then you have to choose yourself the right amount of contrast, the deepness of the uh, image, uh, you have to, uh, to choose the light, you have to choose the brilliance and everything. So now it's just one button and you just touch the screen, plastic surgery, and that's all, nothing else to do. So yeah, it's easier, it's uh, faster. So for us, it's perfect because we are surgeons. We don't have time for anything. We want the things to go fast, fast, fast all the time. And yeah, that's what we have with Clarius. I would recommend Clarius for the three main reasons. So first, it's the uh, easy way of connecting your scanner to any device. Second is the quality of the image because it's brilliant. I mean, we have high definition image. It's perfect for us because we are looking for the precision in any procedure or any post-op follow-up. And the third is the portability of the device. You can take it everywhere you want. It's light. It's really uh, useful when you have to do an entire day of consult. And it's quick and fast. So yeah, I would recommend to uh, any colleague.